Hey there, Gemini. Sun, moon, rising. Welcome to November of 2022. Welcome to Divine Conversations. As always, thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Please keep in mind, Gemini, that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is also a fairly timeless reading. This doesn't necessarily have to resonate for you for the month of November of 2022. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that or at that time. Um, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. Um, if you'd like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below below where I list the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I'll be more than pleased as punts to get you all hooked up. Um, and speaking of personal readings, um, there is an option to get a discount on your personal readings and that is through Patreon. Check out Patreon. That's a great way to support the channel. Uh, Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. The link can be found in the description box below. Um, it's a great way to support the channel, but it's also a way to get some extra readings with me throughout the month and potentially, depending on which tier you sign up for, either a 10% or a 20% discount on your on all and any personal readings you get you receive within without uh, throughout the month within the month there's even also a tier where you can get $10 off a 30 minute or um, recorded freestyle reading with me uh, included with your patreon uh, subscription that one tier but that's only one of those per month so one 30 per 30 minute live session or a um, uh, recorded freestyle reading with me that's ten dollars off so normally one of those sessions would be sixty five dollars but with this specific tier it's fifty five dollars you get that one reading for each month that you are a part of that tier plus all of the um, the archive of patreon readings there yeah so if you're interested in that do check that out as soon as possible as there those spaces are limited I believe there's only five of those um, available per month so yeah, get in on that if you're interested. All right, Gemini. So getting into your energy here. At first, I was seeing a pink energy around you. Um, and what that was bringing me towards was like, because you are the sign of the twins, um, I feel like there is an energy of you know, the twins coming together. Now, of course, maybe you are on the twin flame journey. That's entirely possible. Um, but really it was like love between the twins. So love between the two sides of yourself. There could be an element here where you're, maybe you're starting to open up to love. Maybe you are connecting romantically with someone other than yourself, but also at the core of this meaning, at the core of this imagery that I'm, or the feeling that I'm getting for you, it's like love for yourself. I feel like you may be opening up to yourself in some brand new ways, which absolutely could be opening you up to love in general with another person in some sort of romantic way. But I feel like really what I wanna say about it, Gemini, is that there's some sort of acceptance that's happening for you that's allowing you to take new action because then also the next color I was seeing for you Gemini or that I am seeing for you is yellow um, trying new things uh, trying stuff out sniffing stuff out I'm hearing figuring things out about yourself understanding yourself getting to know yourself better which is maybe even filling you with a new sense of confidence and that's allowing you to try new things go in new avenues take new roads and all that kind of stuff and 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 gemini you can be a fairly adventurous energy okay um so i don't feel like that's out of the norm for you but it just feels like there is a new awareness coming through for you and i do feel like actually you might be pretty excited about it not gonna lie especially if it has to do with love and you've struggled with love um, love in the form of self-acceptance or love in the form of accepting love from another person, maybe even giving love to another person. This yellow energy that I'm also seeing for you, which would be indicative of your solar plexus or maybe just like your action, the action that you are taking. Maybe some of you at this point are uh, recognizing things about yourself or learning new things or becoming familiar with new things about yourself that's allowing you to take new action um, in terms of love here, which is really beautiful, Gemini. Okay, I'm gonna give this two more shuffles here and we're gonna look at, see what messages we have for you this month for Gemini, sun, moon, and rising. Last shuffle here for my Geminis. All right, here we go. So what's going on for Gemini? What messages do we have for Gemini at this time?
Okay. Ooh, okay. All right. This is good. This is really good. Okay, so look, overall energy so far for you, Gemini, is the fool. Definitely taking leaps of faith, taking new action here. Um, you have four cards that have come out. Two of them came out face down. The first two came out face down. But then you have two cards that have come face up. I want to start with those. The first card is the Five of Cups in reverse. All right, so getting over some sort of sorrow, getting, some, getting over some sort of heartbreak. There is a feeling here, Gemini, of... Um, sorrow, regret, maybe even loss that is due to some form of some level of inadequacy or maybe some perceived level of inadequacy. Normally, inadequacy would be represented by the five of pentacles. But here, the, the specific feeling that I'm getting for some of you is that you've been feeling this level of sorrow pain, regret, loss, and maybe even fear of further loss because of you having felt inadequate somehow or you not rising to the occasion maybe in the proper way somehow. But with that said, the next card you have that came out face up is the Three of Wands. So because of you letting go of this fear-based regret is what I'm hearing, maybe even a fear-based reality that had you in a very low vibrational state, um, emotionally tumultuous state, a state of feeling sadness or sorrow or maybe even lost regret and or fear. Um, because you're releasing this energy, this Five of Cups energy, now you are able to look ahead of you, look forward and say, okay, where do I go from here? And there may even be a level of excitement here in terms of what it is you can now invest your time, attention, and energy into that will be bringing you something brand new and maybe even exciting, something I'm also hearing something very dear to you. Okay, the next two cards you have. The next two cards you have are the King of Swords reversed, but with the King, I'm sorry, the Knight of Coins or the Knight of Pentacles upright. Oddly enough, Gemini, this King of Swords in reverse doesn't feel bad. I feel like specifically what this feels like here is you are letting go of an over-analytical nature. At this point, Gemini, it feels like the King of Swords reverse. Now, okay, some of you may be dealing with an Aquarius. Some of you may have an Aquarius energy like in your chart somehow, some way. Um, or Aquarius energy may be really important to you, may have been really important to you. This King of Swords energy may be some sort of masculine and or fatherly leader type authoritarian figure. Either this King of Swords energy represents someone external to you that may have been extremely analytical, or maybe this is an energy within yourself. But what I'm getting from this, Gemini, is that you're no longer in a space of maybe overthinking something. And instead, now, instead of thinking about it over and over and over again, trying to be objective about it. I, I feel like that process is over and now it's time for you to start moving forward. Um, the King of Swords in reverse may represent um, a very pensive energy. Normally, the pens a pensive energy or pensive meaning uh, uh, consumed with or just Mm, troubled with or lost in thought or just being very, very much centered in thought. Instead of being pensive at this time, instead of just continuing to think about it, now it's time to take action. Now it's time to move forward. And I do feel a level of enthusiasm for you here with this three of wands, excitement as to what's to, excitement for or towards what's to come what the possibilities are. I feel like you may feel like the possibilities are endless at this time in some way. And mainly that's coming from, that, that excitement is coming from this energy of uh, pain, regret, loss, sadness, fear even, having been, or at the very least, being released. And that's allowing you to take a leap of faith. That's allowing you to start a new chapter. That's allowing you to feel excited again about what it is you can invest in and all the cool, beautiful new things that will bring towards you, the, the, the returns on that investment. Okay, first thing I wanna clarify here for you is the King of Swords reversed. Let's clarify the King of Swords reversed for Gemini, please. Okay, look at that, Page of Wands. Okay, what I'm hearing now, Gemini, with this page of wands so far, 
uh, clarifying the King of Swords reverse is that you have received your answer. The Page of Wands could be a messenger or a message having come in. This could be a message of inspiration. This could be a message that has inspired you somehow. Or it's a message that has sufficiently given you the energy to start a new project, start a new chapter, and or at the very least be excited about what's to come, okay? Clarifying the King of Swords reversed, please, for Gemini. Next, you have the Eight of Swords, okay? Clarifying the King of Swords, please. That's it. Okay, that's interesting. Overall energy now is the Nine of Pentacles. This is interesting, Gemini. Um, so in the past is what I want to say. In the past, you were caught in this Eight of Swords energy, and that's what had you in that pensive state. But what I'm hearing, Gemini, is that you're being released from it now. Um, I feel like, especially with this nine of pentacles here, this nine of coins, I feel like you are standing on your own two feet. Um, you may be feeling very abundant, maybe also feeling very confident in yourself. The thing that I'm, I'm noticing the most on this nine of coins or nine of pentacles card is the glow of almost the sun behind this individual, or at least in this case, in, behind this woman. And what I'm hearing with that, Gemini, is you have the awareness that you need. And there's something about it that's giving you a level of confidence here. Underneath the Nine of Coins is uh, judgment to the Six of Swords. I feel like you're ready to move forward now. You're ready to start this new thing. You're started, ready to start this new journey. You have received a message that is releasing you from some sort of mental prison. Either, Well, ultimately, regardless as to what form it comes in, it could be described as a message, um, whether it is you, re you specifically received an answer from something or someone, or you received the inspiration, the understanding that you need. It is absolutely releasing you from this mental entrapment or from this extremely pensive state. You've found a way out of this mental prison, out of some sort of mental confinement. The Eight of Swords feels like um, a state of mind that you may have found yourself trapped in directly because of this energy. So this Five of Cups energy, all right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the Nine of Pentacles here is mainly giving me a feeling of belief in yourself. Belief that you can be abundant, belief that you can accomplish, belief that you can do it. It's also coupled with the Nine of Wands here, there is a strong feeling of um, being able to persevere and or work hard to receive a, a beneficial outcome. Because the Nine of Pentacles can represent um, hard work done well that, that, that from which you receive a really good payoff, okay? So let's clarify this Five of Cups then because this feels like it's directly connected to this Eight of Swords energy that you were in. So clarify the Five of Cups for Gemini, please. The Five of Wands, okay? First thing I wanna say is having worked something out, Clarifying the Five of Cups. The King of Wands, look at that. There's, there we go. There we go. And then the Five of Pentacles. All right, overall energy here. Clarifying this Ace, I'm sorry, this Five of Cups in reverse is the Ace of Swords. Truth, clarity, the truth, and answer, okay? Now this feels like the clarity, the answer, the truth that is setting you free, that is able to cut you free from this Eight of Swords energy. Um, lots of fives here, five, five, five. So this is a big change for you. I feel like some of you may be, um, some, of you, some of you may be seeing that synchronicity, that five, five, five synchronicity, okay? King of Wands is the confidence to move forward. Seeing clearly, where you may, may have been lacking, five of pentacles, 
Ace of Swords, Five of Pentacles. And then having the wherewithal, having the self-confidence, having the self-belief to move forward, to work the situation out. You have worked the situation out, or at least you feel confident enough to work the situation out for yourself, Five of Wands. Five of Wands could be some sort of external conflict, you know, as well as internal conflict. But I feel like the, for the most part here, Gemini, I feel like this is internal conflict for you. That you are able to see, clear, see clearly through and thus make your way forward. That Ace of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. And then underneath that, we're back to the Fool. Definitely willing and able to take this leap of faith now because whatever was going on within you that had you stuck in this five of cups energy, it's, it has been worked out or it's being worked out. It has been released. Okay. This is great, Gemini. All right. So let's get into the three of wands then for you. Let's clarify the three of wands for Gemini, please. The Queen of Swords. Ooh. Okay. So we went from the King of Swords to the Queen of Swords now. Then we have the Seven of Cups. Okay. I feel like at this moment, Gemini, you are able to cut through the confusion. Yeah. And then we're back to the Six of Swords. The, the dominant feeling that I'm getting for you here in terms of this Three of Wands energy, which would be um, willing, I'm hearing, willing and able to invest in things that are going to give you some sort of return. I feel like you're willing to invest now because the confusion, maybe even the emotional confusion, um, you're clearly, you're, you're able to make sense of it at this point. But the reason specifically why I feel like you're able to make sense of this confusion, Gemini, is because you have come to a clear understanding of who it is you are, or maybe even what it is that you want. There is some sort of definition that has come into your life right now that is allowing you to clear through, to cut through the fluff, to decipher through the different options, to decipher through or make sense of some sort of confusion or make sense of something that was confusing you in the past. This very well could have just been emotions, something very much connected to that five of cups energy that you have, that you were in, that you were in, that you are, are now releasing. Maybe there could have been fear in the past, fear of specific emotions that you were feeling that you were maybe trying to avoid, but now you are able to, you, you are, you have been addressing it. You are able to move forward now. This is all about you moving forward here. Six of swords. Okay. Okay. Let's clarify the knight of pentacles then. Clarify the knight of pentacles for Gemini, please. The seven of pentacles. This is absolutely you being willing to do the work, to see it through, really, is what I'm getting here. Maybe you were procrastinating in the past. Really, what I'm getting from this, Gemini, is you are willing to see it through this time, or at the very least, now. You're willing to see it through. You're willing to plant the seeds and allow them to grow and nurture them into developing into what it is that you want, what it is you've been desiring. Knight of Pentacles for Gemini. Ooh. Oh, look at that, the Ten of Cups. Anything else for, the, for Gemini? And the King of Cups. Wow, Gemini. Overall energy, we're back to the fool. Emotional maturity. This could have something to do with family. This could have something to do with wanting to start a family. Um, this could have something to do with wanting to find love or express yourself through love. I feel like at this point, if this does have something to do with love for you, I feel like at this point, you are ready, willing, and able to do the menial work, to do the heavy lifting, to do what it takes to nurture some sort of loving relationship 
into fruition. And that could very well have to do with starting a family. Maybe it, it, it's possible that maybe you will be reconnecting with family or you want to reconnect with family. You want to rekindle a relationship with family or at the very least you want to cultivate. I'm getting that from the seven of pentacles, cultivation. Cultivate some sort of family here. This is all clarifying the knight of pentacles, your willingness to see it through. Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, King of Cups. And I will say, Gemini, this is most likely having to do with the fact that you may have matured quite a bit on an emotional level because this King of Cups energy absolutely could represent that emotional maturity here. Okay. Wow. Okay. This is pretty straightforward, Gemini. This is wonderful. Let's get your closing message here. Closing message for Gemini, please. Ten of Swords. Beautiful. I like that. I like that a lot. Ten of Swords. Clarify the uh, closing message for Gemini, please. The, 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 the tough times are over, at least in terms of this specific situation that we're refer referring to here. The next card you have is Strength. And what I want to say about, say about that, Gemini, is you have come out of this very strong, very much fortified, with a strong level of willpower, I'm also hearing final card here is the King of Pentacles. Yes, Gemini, solid in yourself, aware of what it is that you want, willing to commit, taking ownership, being responsible. And finally, you have this Nine of Pentacles again. At this point, I feel like the Nine of Pentacles is confirmation or what I'm hearing is assurance that you will succeed should you continue to carry this energy that you are embodying at this time, which is having come out of a very tough situation, much stronger and way more fortified and maybe even way more grounded in yourself, in who you are, in who it is you know you want to be and what it is you know you want to achieve, create and or grow into fruition in your life. There's also a level of commitment here with the King of Pentacles. So Gemini, this could be uh, either somebody here could be cross-watching for a Gemini who is more of a masculine energy who is now really willing to commit or Gemini, you are this masculine commit, uh, masculine energy that is willing to commit. But you don't have to be a masculine energy. Whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. You could also be a feminine energy. But there is a level of, a, a strong level of commitment here. You do have three of the Kings you only, actually, no, you have all four of the kings. King of Swords, King of Wands, King of Cups, King of Pentacles. Of course, the King of Swords is reversed, but again, I'm not reading that as a bad thing, Gemini. I feel like the pensive time period, the time to think about it is over. Now you're ready to do. Now you're ready to commit. Now you're ready to start the process. And all, uh, all having all four of these kings here, number one could represent that the fact that we're speaking to a masculine energy, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter, you could still be a woman and embody masculine energy. Or at the very least, you are ready to commit because the masculine energies are the fixed energies and the fixed energies are the strongest when it comes to commitment, whether wanting to be committed or wanting to have some sort of commitment and honor and follow through with that commitment. And I do feel like with all of this commitment energy, that's why you have this nine of pentacles here, which is kind of feeling like a level of assurance that you will succeed, that you will grow, that you will achieve, that you will receive, you know, uh, the fruits of your labor, that you will receive um, um, the fruits of your labor for work done well, okay? Okay, that... That's it. That's all I've got for you, Gemini. That's really beautiful. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. If you'd like a personal reading with me, check the information in the description box below uh, where I list the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will be more than pleased as punch to get you all hooked up. And make sure to check out Patreon, both for the discounts and also to support the channel and also to get some extra content with me throughout the month. But with that said, Gemini, I hope you have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>